Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the surface area of a triangular prism. And remember, the surface area, simply put, is the area of the outside part or layer of a 3D figure. And when it comes to triangular prisms, they have five faces. So we need to find the area of each of those five faces, add them together, and we'll get the surface area. So at the top of your screen where it says SA right here, that means surface area. So this is um, how we're going to organize our problem and uh, add up the areas of each face. So we have two times the area of one of the bases and we multiply the area of one of the bases by two because when it comes to prisms, we have two congruent and parallel bases. So they are the exact same size and shape. So if we find the area to um, the area of one of them, we can multiply it by two in order to get the area of both of them. Then we have plus a rectangle, plus a rectangle, plus a rectangle. So each one of those rectangles, that means the area of a rectangle. So we'll talk more about what those rectangles mean here in a minute. So let's jump into number one here. And the first thing we need to do is find the area of the base here and then multiply it by two. So our bases are triangles for a triangular prism. So this front triangle here and the back. And again, they are the exact same size and shape. So we only need to find the area of one. That means we have the area of both. So we'll start with area equals one half base times height. That's the formula for the area of a triangle. So let's plug in now. So one half times the base is six here. So six times the height, which is that dashed line, and the height is four inches. So let's solve. Six times four is 24, times a half is 12. So we have 12 square inches there. And we multiply that by two again, because we have two bases and they are the exact same size and shape. So let's write everything out down here below the problem. So surface area equals, and we will plug in our first area, 12 square inches. And now we get to the rectangles. But before we start that, I wanna take a look at the right hand side of your screen. And we have our triangular prism unfolded. That's called a net. So everything's unfolded. It's going to give us a better idea of the areas of the faces and it helps us visualize what we're doing here when we unfold that 3d shape so try to visualize unfolding it or even folding that net back up and creating the uh, 3d triangular prism so let's get into the rectangles so we have a bottom rectangle a left rectangle and a right rectangle now the left and right rectangle are the exact same size. The bottom one is different. So let's do the bottom rectangle first. So we can think of this as the bottom rectangle here, the right and the left. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, you'll get the same answer either way, but we're starting with the bottom. So let me fill in, I'm trying to find some room here. We'll do area equals length times width. So length times width for the area of a rectangle. You can also use base times height, so whatever works best for you. So let's plug in. Area equals, well, the length is seven inches here, and the width is six inches. So we have a seven by six rectangle, or six by seven. Um, Either way, it will give you the same answer. So seven times six, and our area equals 42 square inches for that bottom rectangle. So we'll plug in here, 42. And let's actually write on our net here, this is going to be 42 square inches. The front triangle, remember, is 12 square inches, and the back triangle is the same. So let's do the right and left, and these Rectangles are the exact same, so we only need to write out one here. So let's go to the bottom of the screen. Area equals length times width, and let's plug in. So we have a length of seven and a width of five here. So if you're having trouble picturing the rectangle, it's this right rectangle here. So seven times five, 
or if you did five times seven, you'll get the same answer either way. So area equals 35 square inches. So 35, and again, this is the right one we did, but the left one is the exact same in the case of this triangular prism. So 35 square inches. So let's add another 35. And now we are good to go as far as adding this up. So we get two times 12 is 24, plus 42 is 66. And then we have 35 plus 35, which is 70. So this is 66 here, this is 70. Add those together and we get 136. So surface area equals 136 and that is square inches. Now that was a lot of work there as we went through. Now the more of these problems you do, the better you'll get and the quicker they'll go. I kind of laid everything out and went slowly as to really explain each step. But again, the more you do, the quicker and better you'll get at these. So just to recap, when it comes to finding surface area, find the area of each face, add all of those faces up, and you'll end up with the correct surface area. So there you have it. There's how you find the surface area of a triangular prism. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.